Here we are with the ceremonial puck dropper of the first game between Balmoral and the Steelers, Ruby Frazier. Ruby, I want to say thank you very much for joining me. How exciting is it to be watching a great women's hockey game compared to what you would have normally played back in your day? Yeah, that's right. That's true. I would love to be able to do it still. <laughs> now tell me about your equipment back in the day. Because I heard that there were some interesting pads and whatnot that you had to wear. We put uh, Eaton's catalogs around our uh, thighs, our legs, our lower arm and our upper arm. We, uh, we had all use of our knees and our elbows, which we needed. But everybody says, well, didn't you get hurt? I said, yes, lots of times. We even had broken elbows. How did you get back into, or how did you get into the game of hockey? Two brothers younger than I am, and they played hockey over at the, uh, the what do you call uh, The lots, the, the, the had uh, rinks, open air rinks, and they could never get enough players. So they put me in, and I played with the boys. So you played with the boys. Now, you, did you get thrown into the goal? Because you were quite the goaltender back in the day, I've heard. Not in the boys. <laughs> not, not when the boys, not with the boys. No, that was when the girls, but not the boys. So you They always had a boy for that could play. Now Ruby, you were you told me you were also a speed skater. How fast were you? Did the boys catch you or did the girls catch you or were you just too fast for them? I was too fast for them. <laughs> I really I really outskated any of them. And it's pretty amazing when you see the speed out in today's game. You can't hit what you can't catch, right Ruby? That's right, and the man that I have uh, favored in the Jets is one of the fastest skaters I've ever seen. And he came out on the rink the first night I ever went to, the, to see a game. And he came out on the rink and he skated like he had never had a broken ankle. I don't know how he did it, but today I wish he'd quit. <laughs> he said too much since then. That's uh, uh, so, Ruby. I have to ask you one question: When you watch the game today, does it bring back memories of when you used to play when you were that age? Definitely. And what are those memories like? Well, they're I well they. they they make today look so much easier because we didn't have the equipment they had. I never, I was goalie and never even had a helmet. <laughs> so you were a very brave woman playing all of those amazing games. Technology wasn't there. I have to also lead, end off with this. How great was it to see the girls come visit where you were and reminisce some of those stories and holding that cup, how impressive was that? How would, how would you say? How what? When they showed and they brought the champion cup over to visit with you, how great was that? Oh, wonderful. I really enjoyed that very much. I was quite pleased. I was quite uh, amazed that they even knew about me. You're a legend. Well, I, why? Ruby, you're one of the oldest surviving female first hockey players, and to drop the first puck, thank you. One of the first ever, and I have lived out all of them. You certainly had. Joining me, Ruby Fraser, the ceremonial puck dropper in tonight's game. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thank you very much for having me here, and uh, I will enjoy it. <laughs> right on. This yeah. is Theo with Amateur Sports TV with Ruby Fraser.